you probably know at least a couple of different ways of searching and replacing text in Emacs. Uh, but what if you need to do some transformation while replacing that text? So here's the uh, real and interesting problem I, I'm facing right now. I have this big file, uh, big JSON file, and it has tons of uh, UUIDs. I Googled and found this regexp for UUIDs. And if you look, this file contains tons of UUIDs, right? So, but what if these UUIDs are from production data and I can get in trouble for using them in my tests? Uh, so I need to uh, replace every single occurrence of every single UID and generate a new one instead, the old ones, right? So how do I do this? Uh, first of all, how do you generate UIDs in Emacs? Uh, for that, there's a, a uuidgen.l and it like generates, uh, can generate uh, different UIDs. It includes functions like uuidgen4, uh, which we'll be using next. Right, so now I am going to replace every single UID in this buffer using replace regexp. You're probably familiar with this function. Now we are replacing uh, using regexp uh, for our UID, our UID regexp, right? What are we replacing it with? Now, watch me carefully, backslash, comma, open paren, UUID gen four, close paren, enter. It says replace 96 occurrences, but let's check if it did. Diff buffer with file, huh, look at that. One, two, three, four, oh yeah. It looks like it replaced every single occurrence of a UUID every single UID with the new one, right? That's generated. So I'm gonna undo these changes. Uh, now, what if you need to transform, like reuse your uh, match with something different, right? Uh, in, in my case, we didn't reuse the, the, we just throw away the matching text and like generate a new one instead. Uh, so uh, let's, Let's uh, do something different. Uh, there's a function in Emacs called upcase, right? What it does, it takes the text and uppercases, right? So we have a bunch of uh, occurrences of properties here, a word uh, properties. We have a number of um, things that say properties. So now let's capitalize every single occurrence of this, okay? Again using replace regex. This time we are saying we are going to use properties. Um, it can be regex, but for the sake of demonstrating it, I'm just gonna do the simple thing. Uh, properties, uh, now replace regex properties with, again, backslash, comma, open paren, upcase. Now, we need to give it the match, right? Backslash, ampersand, closing paren. Watch what happens. It said it replaced 37 occurrences. Diff buffer with file. And indeed, it did replace every single occurrence of properties, uh, capitalizing it. Okay, so how does it work? If we go and read documentation for replace regexp, um, we will see that it takes uh, multiple arguments. The most important ones are regexp, and the second one is toString. And uh, the interesting bit comes here. In toString, backslash ampersand stands for whatever match the whole regexp. And interactive calls, the replacement text may contain backslash comma, followed by Lisp expression used as part of the replacement text inside of that expression, backslash ampersand is a string denoting the whole match, right? So here you have it. If you didn't know about this before, now you know. I hope that was helpful.